This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are located in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the right view. In the right view, I will draw, first of all, I draw this inner circle. This inner circle has a diameter of 25. Then I will draw this outer circle and this outer circle has a radius of 25 so it will be diameter of 50 and from then from this point i will draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 56 and from this upper point of this outer circle i will draw another horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 120 minus 56 then i will select this both line then I will offset that. I will offset that to 16 unit. Then I will get this two line. From that we can see this outer circle is not fully circle. So from this point I will draw a vertical downward line and from this point I will draw a vertical upward line. And then I will close the shape. Then I will trim all the unnecessary part. Then I will extrude boss. Then I will extrude boss it to 75 unit. So let's select let's select the right plane now sketch now select circle and draw a circle of 25 radius 25 diameter then again select the center point and draw a circle of 25 radius so it will be 25 multiplied by, multiplied by 2 50 diameter now press ok now select the line tool and place the line here and draw a horizontal line of 56 unit and again select the line tool and place the place this to an upper point and draw a horizontal line of 120 minus 56 okay now select one of this line now go to offset entities now dimension it to 16 unit now reverse the direction and also select this line so we can see we have got the offset of those two lines now press ok after that select the line tool again and as we have already said this outer circle is not fully circle so we need to draw a vertical line from here and again select the line tool and from this point draw another vertical line now close the shape now closing the shape here and again from here close the shape now go to trim option and trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need so we don't need this one and also this one zoom it and trim all the part that we don't need so i'm trimming all the part okay as we have trimmed it now go to isometric view for a better view because now we will extrude boss it now go to features and extrude boss now it's to boss it to 75 unit and from here select the mid plane option now press ok here you can see we have drawn our main shape now it's time for this is to cut circle and this is to cut circle has a diameter of 12 unit and from this line their distance is 16 unit and they are from this distance is 75 minus 44 divided by 2 unit so i am selecting this top face now sketch now normal to it and now select the circle and draw a circle here draw a circle of 12 diameter after that select the smart dimension option and select the circle and select this line and now dimension it to 16 unit now again select the circle and from this vertical line dimension it to 75 minus 44 divided by 2 unit okay now we can see we have another circle here you can draw that manually and dimension but i will use the mirror option for doing this i'll select the center line from here so draw a center line after drawing the center line go to mirror entities option and from this box entities to mirror select this circle and mirror about 
this center line now press ok now isometric it for a better view so this dimension was we have already discussed if you didn't understand 75 minus 44 divided by 2 because in in here you can see that this two distance is 44 and the total distance is 75 so if we have my 75 minus 44 and half the distance then we'll get the this distance okay it's time for extra cut now I submit it, I submit it now go to features now is to cut now press ok now in here we will draw this this rectangular shape for drawing this rectangular shape first of all I will draw in the top face this rectangle and this rectangle has this dimension is 75 and this dimension is 16 unit then I will to boss then I'll list to boss it to uh, 62 minus 16. Then this extra portion. If we thought of this extra portion, this extra portion is 75 minus 49 divided by 2. Because uh, here this is a chamfer, so and this chamfer is 45 degree angle. So this distance is equal to this horizontal distance is equal to this vertical distance. So if we calculate this part this horizontal distance we will get this vertical distance so it will be 75 minus 49 divided by 2 so the total is to boss will be 62 minus 16 then it will be this portion will be 75 minus 49 divided by 2 okay so i am selecting this face now I sketch now normal to it now select the corner rectangle place the corner rectangle here and now dimension to 16 by 75 unit okay now press ok now isometric it now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to 62 minus 16 plus 75 minus 49 divided by 2 okay so it will be 59 unit now press ok so it's time for now this extrude cut cycle and this extrude cut cycle has a diameter of 25 but as you can see this extrude cut cycle doesn't have any dimension so we assume this extrude cut cycle has has been placed in the center of this rectangular shape so i am going to draw this in here so right click on it and now sketch now normal to it you can draw a circle then dimension it to say it to center but if you drag from this point you can see a vertical line is coming from and also if you drag from this this point this point you can see another vertical another horizontal line you can see dotted so the center is in here so this cycle will be 25 diameter now isometric it for a better view now we can see we have centered drawn, uh, drawn our cycle also you can dimension it manually if you want or you can hover your mouse by pointing this way now press ok now go to features now is to cut now press ok now here we can see we have seen that this chamfer has a dimension of 45 degree and the distance will be 75 minus 49 divided by 2 and that as it is a 45 degree chamfer so this horizontal distance and this vertical distance will be same so go to fillet now go to chamfer and in the distance box and in the distance box dimension it to 75 minus 49 divided by 2 okay it will give 13 unit so select this edge and select this edge now press ok ok so as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different